and then put. We do them in three bird rotations because we'll have six birds in here. We'll take three out. We'll put three on the scalder. So next step, the scalder here is great. It's set to 150 degrees. We always put a thermometer in. It's also a thermometer set down here. The turn. This thing is automated. Put three birds across the table, and it turns them. It and dunks them. Brings them back up. Let's them drain, takes them back down, drain, and this will make six revolutions. And that's what we found at 149, 150 degrees is the best. You can also check by pulling the tail feathers out, wing feathers out, any long feathers, or the skin on the legs or the, the toes. And if the yellow skin or the black or whatever peels easy, that means that the bird's ready. You don't want to cook them, so you don't want to put it up to. This just came back um, from a, a processor. We had it set at 175 degrees. So it may, 175 degrees may have taken him two revolutions, but he also was cooking the birds. And that's getting the internal organs and all that internal stuff hot. And you don't want that. The, the object is to get them from a killed bird through the process as fast and as clean as you can do it and into that chilled tank and get that body temperature down to that 40, you know, or, or chilled water or cold water is like 30, 32 degrees, I think. And it's ice. It's an ice bath, gold tank, and it's inside there. So this will. How long does it take for the water? We bring it from inside. <laughs> this this trailer has an insta hot, and you can bring water once it's when it is working, and you can feed this, and it will come out at the 150 degrees. Really? So it's really a great deal. But you have to have one of the tall tanks. It, the pressure on a small five gallon tank isn't enough pressure to run that insta hot. So that's the only drawback with that. But this will go the six revolutions, and then it shuts off. And if you see, they've got a little bit too full, but the water, water level should be underneath the bar. That way the chickens aren't sitting in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can notice the bubbles? Yeah. It cleans the feathers, it cleans the birds. Oh. Okay, so the dirt falls away. The, dank, the tank, when you're done, that tank is filthy. Just dishwashing. That's just dishwashing soap. Put a lot of it in there. On the cones, we spray all the cones with um, uh, what's the, uh, Pam. Pam. Yeah. Whatever. A non-stick uh, vegetable oil or whatever. I think she's got canola oil in it because it was cheap or something like that. The blood won't stick. Okay, so it's easy cleanup, and that's what you're looking for is something that will make it easy to clean up, and the blood doesn't stick, and then it comes out here, drops down inside. Yeah. Pam. Take three birds, you want to always have, you never want to put just one bird in here. They need to bounce off of other birds. Okay, plucker, the fingers spin on the bottom, the water comes in and washes, the feathers drop down to the sides, but the birds are all tumbling around in here and they're knocking off each other and the feathers are getting rubbed off on, on the fingers. So that's about, that's about it for the, maybe, maybe a minute, less than a minute in here, and they're, they're clean. If the water temperature's right, the revolutions are right, in here, the skin doesn't rip, and that's a real big thing. Broken wings, broken, don't overdo it in here, because they will break, they will tear skin, and if you have a torn skin, you can't sell the product. Um, it doesn't look good, you, you know, to, for anybody to take or anything like that.
have it, you can get it from ESI. You can go to Google. SPD, great. Go to their meat counter and ask them. They'll, buy, they'll show you all the knives they have and what, the, what they recommend and everything like that. And Matt over here in Grass Valley and uh, in Nevada City. They're all real good and they'll help you. So this is the third time around. I mean, when the bird comes up, you can start seeing still a little tight on the feathers. There's other kinds of scalders. They're dunk scalders. Uh, you'll see them on other videos. And you hook the birds on their legs. And then you actually have a dunk tank, a heated tank, and you lift them and pull them down in the water and the birds submerge for a period of time and then you, you'll test it and you'll pull feathers and you can grab a, a toe like I was talking about and see the skin on the feet. And then, and that's not ready to pull yet. That was just turned up all the way. Did it go out? Uh, okay. Oh, so see the feathers are starting to get loose now. Yeah. Coming out. Soap, it just helps get underneath the feathers and help lift everything. And the birds will come back and they'll set above it so that they're actually draining out. They'll start to. And this does throw a lot of feathers and stuff, so you want to get wet. But you want to see how it's done, too. So it's a... You see the feathers coming out of the bottom, how fast they're coming out and everything. The birds are. that they are moving that way the skin doesn't tear on them. So they're probably pretty much just the tail feathers. Um, basically, we cut off the, we cut the tail off because there is a grease gland underneath here and you have to cut that out anyways because it's, 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 it's not a good taste. Okay, we cut it off 